actually see it. It looks like it does work. Yep. It just uh, needs to have that resistor replaced in it. Of course, we need to get these clips off. Just want to pry under front of each one of these and lift it up a little bit. Got to get up underneath that. Come on. There we go. This is how that slotted in. It keys in and then pops down. And we need to do the other end. There we go. That one just popped right out. Now there's two plastic tanning tabs. Gonna take these bulbs out. Just a later, I've got replacements. See how corroded that is. We need to clean the contacts for the bulbs. Now, in order to pull this assembly off, there's four little screws holding this um, light cone down. And it's there's one here, one here, and on this side. So. I like to set it down flat. Here's a double zero. Should be just the right size, yep. Zero or a zero zero Phillips. Let's set this aside. See if we can knock these screws out. There we go, should be four. Set these aside. That is dirty. How dirty that lens is. That is glued to it, don't try to remove it. This all stays one assembly, but what we do want to do is to pop these uh, bridges here out. They just snap into the grooves on the board. There's one on each side. Now, this will unfold. And we can get to this easier now. And that is the light dependent uh, resistor or photo resistor. Originally, uh, that actually looks like a dual use, either a resistor and or a photodiode because it looks like there's a gate. I don't know. I've never seen that style. But there's only two soldered um, connections right here. You have this one and this one. That one is just an, a loose pin. So this is just a, uh, a resistor. You could put a potentiometer in here and adjust it if you wanted to. Um, but it would, it's no different than jumpering this. If you put a jumper across here, um, that's the same as having no resistance or full brightness. Um, so the, um, the darker it gets, the more resistive it is the dimmer it gets so that it's not as blinding. Um, this one apparently is shot because uh, I have replaced the bulbs in this already and it, you see how dim it was. So this thing needs to be replaced. I don't have them yet. So I'm going to jump it for the time being, put it back together and then we'll hook it up and see if we can uh, see full brightness on the display then, make sure it works. 
So we'll let the soldering iron heat up and then we'll uh, go ahead and pull this out and solder in a small piece of copper wire, put it back together. Uh, in here there is a light pipe. That's what sticks out the front here. It gathers the ambient light and then feeds it into uh, the end of the tube here and that covers the diet so it has um, a nice collection of light and see how scratched up it is be a good idea to polish that really good before you put it back together and then these buttons all have light pipes as well they gather the uh, ambient light from the bulb that's in the middle and that's what illuminates the back of the uh, letters where it's white. I'm not going to take that apart. I mm, could use a cleaning though. Well, first things first, let's go ahead and do this. Right now I'm just going to, oh, it fell out. Here we go. And it just slipped like Butterfinger. You can see how there's three pins on it. This pin is not used. It's just the outer two. There's a part number on that. I need my magnifiers. It's definitely shaped like a diode, with uh, that being negative, positive. That's probably the gate, but we are going to put a uh, resistor in there, a photoresistor. A little piece of copper wire. This is just temporary. Let's go ahead and put the bridges back in. Come on now, cooperate with me. There it goes. Let's go 
plug it back in and see what it looks like. No light at all. There it goes. Yeah, it works. Oh, the connector's loose on the back, that's why. Cool. Let's put it back together. Oop. I'm going to keep hitting that. I just know it. So here we got the GL 5528s. They're supposed to be 5 by 4 I think that'll fit just fine as long as these leads line up. Let's go ahead and take this one back apart. Let's check this light pipe and see. Yep. A little bit of a little bit of wiggle room, but not too much. We need to get a new chisel tip. And these are resistors, so direction should not matter at all. It's gonna work great electrically as long as it works it fits Seems to react pretty good. Full brightness. The C didn't dim too much. EDU dimmed down though. Let me put my finger back over it. Oh yeah, it'll dim down. It'll dim down nicely really dark nights I'm sitting in the garage with the overhead light on so there's a little bit of ambient light in here and it's the perfect light level based on all the other dash illumination <laughs> 